What is up YouTube, KB Cooper here bringing you what is on Project Forge's radar for the week of May 2nd, 2016. Now I will state, this is a pretty stacked week with both AAA, Indie, and other games to mention. So without further ado, let's get into it. On Tuesday for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, we will be getting Battleborn, a tremendous band of badass heroes fight to protect the universe's very last star from a mysterious evil in this next-gen shooter by the creators of Borderlands. To defend it, you'll need to utilize every type of character and weapon you've ever imagined, from cyborg hawkmen to samurai vampires to minigun-wielding man-mountains. Slash and parry, run and gun, cast and dash, or simply obliterate foes while building and growing your personal team of heroes. Choose your hero and fight alone, or cooperatively alongside friends in story missions or battles against them in fast-paced competitive multiplayer match. Next on the list, we have Super Hot coming to the Xbox One. Super Hot blurs the lines between cautious strategy and unbridled mayhem. Super Hot is the FPS in which time only moves when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed ammo drops, it's just you. Outnumbered and outgunned, grabbing the weapons of fallen enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. With its unique stylized graphics, Super Hot finally adds something new and disruptive to the FPS genre. Super Hot's polished and minimalistic gameplay and visual style helps you concentrate on the most important part of the game, fluidity and cinematic beauty of the fight. And number three on PS4 for Tuesday, we have Tabletop Racing World Tour, which is actually also a PlayStation Plus game that will be free this month. It is a eight PVP online multiplayer combat racing game that features six unique gameplay modes spread throughout the championships. 90 plus varied and challenging events, and 20 dynamic circuits based around five theme locations. I like to think of it as Twisted Metal meets Micro Machines. I also wanted to take some time to give an honorable mention to the PS4 indie dump that is also happening this week, and we do have some pretty popular ones to mention. Starting off, we have Shadow Complex Remastered. Shadow Complex follows Jason Fleming and his new girlfriend Claire, who opts to explore some caverns the two stumble across. When she does not respond to his calls, Jason follows her, and he finds a massive underground complex with soldiers and high-end technology. Jason must rescue Claire and discover the plot behind the faction operating the complex. Following that, we have The Park on PS4. The park is set in a creepy amusement park hiding a dark and sinister secret. The park is a first-person psychological horror experience focused on exploration and storytelling. From the trailer, it looks like a very great game, and I look forward to getting my pants scared off by it. And last but not least of the ones worth mention, I believe, is Coffin Dodgers. Pimp up your mobility scooter and take on the Grim Reaper and his zombie army in a race for your soul. Armed with a variety of homemade weapons and gadgets, battle your way through 13 unique and exhilarating tracks. Can you survive the retirement village? I would like to note that this also has very similar twisted metal gameplay mechanics based off the trailers and things I know about this game. And those that did not make it for the trailer B-roll, we do have The King of Fighters 2000, Never Ending Nightmares, Push Me Pull You, Corridor Z, and Buff Night Advanced. And weirdly enough, we do have some Friday releases this week. We have Lichdom Battle Mage on Xbox One and PS4, though it is already on PC, so if you guys want to watch gameplay or see how that game looks, you can check out a lot of footage. Lynchdom Battle Mage is a first-person spellcaster where you play as Dragon, a scorned mage out to seek revenge on Shax, the evil overlord who destroyed your family. Using an arsenal of unlimited spells as your only form of weaponry, you must fight off hordes of evil cult members, monsters, and demons summoned from the abyss in a mission to avenge your loved ones. Lichdom features, Lichdom features robust spell crafting system with eight main cycles to form thousands of spells, unlimited casting abilities with no mana bars or cooldowns, fierce battles and battle arenas. You can even pick up items and loot from fallen enemies to add new spells to your arsenal. It also has explosive fast paced action with intense focus on the magic. And lastly but not least on Friday, we will also get Project Cars Game of the Year Edition for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. 
For those of you who don't know, Project Cars is one of the most authentic, beautiful, and intense racing simulators out there, definitely giving Forza and Gran Turismo a run for their money. If you guys haven't checked it out already, I would definitely suggest any car fan or simulator racer to look at Project Cars. Nonetheless, this has been a quick video with Project Forge. I know this is a little bit longer than most on the radars, but hey, that's what's coming out this week, and there was a lot of things that spiked our interest, and we wanted to make sure to cover it all. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will let you go. This has been KB Cooper, and I'm out. Peace. Once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos from Project Forge, please check out the mentioned videos below. And on your way out, if you could click that subscribe button, we'd greatly appreciate it. Nonetheless, this has been a quick Project Forge production, and we'll see you guys next time.